Now there are so many different varieties of wine glasses for good reason. Each of these glasses has been created with a specific wine in mind. So here we have a Bordeaux glass, specific for Bordeaux wines, and it's larger in size. The beauty of this is that when you put the wine inside, it gives you enough room to aerate the wine, as well as check out the beautiful legs of the wine. Here we have a burgundy glass specific for burgundy wines. It's wider at the bottom, allowing you to oxidize your wine, swirl it around, once again checking out those gorgeous legs. Now this is a Chablis or Chardonnay glass. It's smaller in size. That way you can keep the wine at a lower temperature. Now the purpose of a stem on a wine glass is to prevent your hand from heating up the wine inside the glass. This glass is unique in that it has no stem. Now, not really my favorite because I think it applies a little bit too much excess heat. But some people are really crazy about these. The most important feature of any wine glass is the bowl. You want it to be larger at the bottom and taper towards the top. That way all the aromas concentrate towards the nose. Now the bowl of a wine glass should be without design and should be transparent. Because you really want to be able to swirl the wine in your glass and check out how it falls, the viscosity, its color. And you want the rim to be wide enough that you can get your nose in there and smell it. Now, if you're just getting started in investing in wine glasses, I would start with these three. A typical Chablis Chardonnay glass, a Burgundy glass, and a Bordeaux glass. Or, if you want to start out simple, I would just stick with a Chablis Chardonnay glass. Just as there are so many different kinds of wines, there are so many different kinds of glasses, the most important thing is you get out there and give them a swirl.